RC foam flatters. Welcome back to Project Jupiter Part 3. In this video we're going to get into building the main fuselage of the plane and also cutting out the vertical stabilizer and uh, possibly the uh, rear wing. So let's get into the video and see how it all went. Okay guys, here's just a quick glimpse at the main fuselage as I have it assembled right now. Um, the main pieces are glued together with hot glue already and some of the other pieces on the top here, those are just taped on uh, for temporary use right now just to hold it in uh, place. Um, I will be creating a bunch of bulkheads to fit inside the fuselage um, to make it a lot sturdier and stronger and I may do one coat of the uh, fiberglass weave on the outside of the fuselage. We'll see how heavy it gets as I uh, progress with the build. Um, and also as you can see I've got a little cargo bay hatch in the back of the plane. That'll be set up with the uh, landing gear channel. So I can uh, basically open the door up and drop stuff out, maybe like parachute men or whatever, maybe some flower bombs or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, we'll have fun with it uh, once it gets built and hopefully flying good. Um, but basically I'm pretty happy with the way the fuselage is coming out. I'm um, starting to take shape and finally look like an airplane. So. And probably a good few weeks before I can complete this build and uh, start doing the main flights but um, so far I'm pretty happy with it okay I got the uh, vertical stabilizer cut out also that's basically the uh, basic shape of it I'm probably gonna be cutting it I don't know, somewhere around here to turn it into a rudder on the back and I'll probably make the rudder out of actual balsa wood to make it a little stiffer and uh, a little stronger and here's the rear wing um, the portion that's cut out also that's gonna be the elevator it's going to go across the back. I'm going to use some fiberglass weave for uh, both pieces here to stiffen them up and possibly put in some uh, carbon spars also to make them a little stronger. Okay guys, here's just a quick mock-up of the uh, plane. I threw the parts together just uh, roughly just to give you guys an idea of the size of the plane. Um, it's pretty large and uh, basically just judged by the size I may have to upgrade the size motors that I already picked. I was thinking about um, basically two 300 watt motors, but I'm thinking I might have to upgrade that to um, two bigger motors, basically like the ones on my EPP FF22. Those, that motor puts out about 500 watts a motor. So I'm thinking I might put two of those on there and that'll roughly get about a thousand watts of power. Um, Cause this is probably gonna be a good uh, four to five pound airplane by the time it's done um, with the batteries, all the electronics and uh, some of the other stuff. And then after that, we're gonna try and see how much weight it'll lift. So it's getting to be a pretty sizable project. I'm pretty excited about it though. Um, I think Dick Klein is too. Uh, we're really anxious to see how it's gonna turn out and uh, what type of weight it's gonna be able to lift and uh, just how it flies. And uh, to be able to compare it with the uh, Clark Y airfoil versus the uh, KFM-3 airfoil and also the KFM-2 airfoil. So it's pretty cool. Uh, basically, here's the little uh, mock-up plane I made. This will just give you a little size comparison. So, Compared to that, it's uh, pretty huge. So this is actually probably the biggest. This definitely is the biggest plane I've uh, built so far. So um, I'm hoping it works. I hope it doesn't end in tragedy. Um, I just hope the plane flies good. And I uh, hope you guys stay tuned and uh, watch out all good. Okay, guys, that pretty much completes the uh, Project Jupiter portion of the video this week. So far, I'm pretty happy with the way the project's coming together. But it looks like it's probably going to be at least a few more weeks before I can actually get the plane fully together and start doing the maiden flights and testing. Um, but basically, I hope you guys stay tuned to see how the project progresses. Um, and at the end here, I'm just going to throw in a couple videos of um, flying some of the other planes we did at the park this week. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos and uh, stay tuned for uh, more cool stuff coming up. Okay guys, we're out at the park doing some flying. Uh, here's just a look at some of the planes we have here today. And actually we got a, a glimpse at uh, one of the new planes our friend Joe's working on. It's a big giant F-15. Um, we put it up next to our other plane so you can see the scale of it. it looks like it's coming along pretty good. Uh, looks like Joe's incorporated the KF airfoil on top. That's a KF2, right, Joe? And looks like see he's got a big uh, giant air brake. He said the uh, that's that basswood or balsa basswood, basswood uh, air brake on the back. So he's going to try and do some glide tests a little bit later. But it looks like it's coming along pretty good. I think it's pretty good size. He plans on having dual motors on it and um, just uh, going to keep following the build. See how it goes.
There you go. Yeah, it looks like you got it pretty close already. Awesome. Did <laughs> you get it? <laughs> oh, come on. That a couple yeah. times, man. That'd be yeah. crazy. Honestly. Yeah, man. That thing disappears when you're coming straight out. It's like that, man. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, it turns into like a little black line, and then it's gone. I missed it on the camera. You missed?